once, once, once heard a man say, Knowledge is power. But as I got older, I began to understand that knowledge is not power, knowledge is potential power. Now, 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 probably thinking, what does knowledge being power or being potential power have to do with how to change the world? When you sit down and think about the whole situation of knowledge being potential power, the reason why it is potential power is because you can gain all the knowledge that the world has to offer, but if you do not apply it, that potential power will never be seen in your entire lifetime. A man once said the richest place to be is the graveyard. And why is the richest place to be the graveyard? Because there's people who are there and there's dreams that died with them that went underground, that were never seen in the light. We never saw them flourish. How do you change the world? A question that some ask. Why? Because they don't know how to change the world. That's for some. Others have no clue on where to start. I'm here to say that you can change the world. But you can change it to make it a better place. The world that we live in right now is really messed up. We got COVID, we got every single diseases that can break out of a pandemic being created. We got wars, I mean Ukraine, Russia, before we know it, America, South Africa, UK, Canada, we are, we are living in an age where the whole world can be destroyed with just one click of a button. That's all there it takes. One nuclear can destroy the whole world. That is the generation that we live in. That is the times that we live in. And why is that the case? Because we took the one and only one and only standard of living and we chucked it out of the window once you chuck it out of the window what are you left with every single person's self-centeredness so if they decide today that they're gonna be part of the lgbtq community what they decide is right they decide today that they will not abort the baby. To them, that is right. So, in other words, if I decide that I'm gonna kill your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, or your brother, or your sister, because what they said to me, I definitely did not like it. I'm in the right. Doesn't matter what you think, I'm right. That is the world that we live in today. So how do you change the world? You need to go back to your original creator. Who knows how you function, how you work. He's the one that created you. You go back to him. And you find out why did he create you. Because your purpose is connected to how you change the world. Now I'm not going to tell you that. In this episode, I'm going to make sure that another episode comes out where how to change the world is there. But what I am going to say is that you can change the world by changing your neighbor who's in your everyday life and making their life better. 
Once their life is better, move on to the next. Eventually, you'll change a society. And from a society, you'll change a neighborhood. From a neighborhood, you'll change a state or a province. And from that, you'll be able to change the whole country. Because once the families are restored, the whole nation is restored. And that is how you change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Fearless Eagle. Right here, giving you a word of wisdom which will help in the future. That is if you decide to take it and apply it and practice it so that you can see the results. My final words are you have the potential to change the world but that's only if you act. That is only if you act. So don't be out here sitting on your laurels doing nothing but start doing something and change the world by changing every single individual in your life one step at a time peace out and god bless stay safe and make sure you change your life